Hey, how's it going? My name is Sean Brown and uh, this is Gypsy the cat. Oh, she's freaking out now because there's a bird in the garden. She likes to sit on her perch and watch birds in the garden and kind of, uh, if they get too close, she makes all these sounds, which is really kind of cute. Anyway, um, how's it going? Lockdown number three in Ireland. Um, I'm not doing very well, I have to say. It's uh, tough. I'm fucking fed up of everything. And um, I suppose I released my album and uh, my music video before Christmas and then I kind of just crashed. And then in um, not, not so long ago at all, my Welsh grandma uh, passed away in a hospital in Swansea. Um, so that was uh, really sad because I love my grandma from Wales and, and uh, we would have been close and I would have seen her a lot over the last few years. And I would have written lots and lots of long letters to my grandma. Actually, I had a grief is funny. Grief is like you have a big, big cry and then you think, all right, I, I, I'm OK. And then, you know, like some random day, a couple of days later, you find yourself sobbing again, <laughs> which is what happened yesterday, because I something was on the telly that like somebody was talking about writing letters to family members and I just burst into tears because grandma from Wales is is the one person in the whole whole world that like I could write 10 page epic letters to and she would never ever ever complain at the length of letter she would always write back saying I love your beautiful letters I love getting them I love reading them you you write beautifully um and, and like that that she was the only person really because I mean even with emails I find it hard to be concise and I have, you know, in the past gotten things like, you know, don't write so much or that was a bit much or, you know, whatever. And I just can't help it. But um, yeah, so I was crying because I just thought there's nobody left in the world that wants my 10 page letters. Anyway, um, I have her in a, a little locket now around my neck and um, we're doing our best. I, it doesn't look like I'll be able to go to the funeral, um, even though she wanted me to go and I have all the hymns and stuff. Um, doesn't look like I can go, really, because of what's happening. So, uh, but I do want to say thank you so, so, so much to all the people, uh, I think it was on a Facebook post, who uh, sent love and, and condolences when I posted about Grandma uh, passing away. That was just uh, beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm I'm really grateful for that. I'm really grateful. And Grandma would have been Grandma would have been so happy because, you know, I think she she really wanted a big funeral with loads of people, um, which she probably won't get now. But uh, she would have loved seeing all the likes on that post and everything. She would have loved it uh, because when she was younger, she was on the stage as well. And she loved being on the stage and being in choir and singing and, and, um, and performing. So that's that. And that's that's made this lockdown quite hard. But also this lockdown, it's like lockdown number three. It's like, oh, for God's sake. So I haven't been I haven't been very good, but um, I've decided to make another music video because it does. Um, it does give me something to do while I can't work or anything and, and we're locked inside. And it gives me a reason to get dressed if I'm kind of documenting it. I don't know if I'm going to, I'm not going to document it like daily. Definitely not. But uh, I do want to document it because I've learned a few new tricks. I've watched a few new documentaries uh, or old documentaries. There was a, a, a woman, I think she was German, Lottie Granger or something. And she was like the pioneer in the 20s and 30s of this kind of shadow puppet um, animation. And so I watched her documentary and this is where I got the idea for the next um, music video. So part of the next video, part of the next music video is going to be a bit of green screen work. So I went into Woody's DIY and I they didn't have chroma key uh, paint, special paint for green screen. So I got this made up to um, the best, the closest colour to a green screen that I could muster. And it came out quite well. And I'm going to paint... Um, a wall in my bedroom green so that I can do a bit of green screen work and superimpose myself into these animations that I'm going to do. Is he still in the garden? Oh, he is too. There's a blackbird at the bottom of the garden. Um, and oh, that was a nice line. There's a blackbird at the bottom of the garden. Uh, right, so I'm going to show you. It just came today. Uh, I got a light box and I got this kind of arm 
that clamps onto the table that holds your phone directly above uh, what you're working on. So you can get like perfect overhead shots with this little arm. And I got uh, an amazing, an amazing light pad. And uh, that's why I'm, I'm just vlogging by the window because it's dark and I'm gonna go over there and show you my light pad. Um, I will see you in a second. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so uh, it is dark because I want you I want you to be able to see like what a light pad is. But um, I don't know if you can see this. This is the arm. So it's clamped to the table there, clamped. And it's uh, like a, a normal human arm with joints. And this part here is a little clip that you put uh, your phone in. And then you can uh, put it perfectly above what you're working on and it will take perfect overhead shots so I got that um and then I got this light pad so here is this light pad I got it in <laughs> I got it in A2 <laughs> don't do things by halves I got this huge big A2 light pad now it's not like connected to the internet or anything like that so it wasn't that expensive considering uh and it's got so I'm gonna I'm gonna put put it on for you now there you go it can be brighter yeah there you go Woo there is my light pad it's uh, it's it's literally just a pad that generates light, and if you look, it's got like a um, uh, little kind of markings on it. Uh, that's kind of for animation. If you're animating and you need or technical drawing or whatever, and you need um, the measurements, it's in, I think it's in centimeters. And uh, basically, with this, because it's lying flat, so it's lying flat on a table. Uh, because with the shadow puppets, it was like upright and I had to be underneath and doing all this for hours and hours, which was quite, was quite tough on the shoulders and the arms and everything. Uh, but this is lying flat. So what you do is you don't need any, um, you don't need any sticks for the puppets at all because they lie flat and they don't fall off. So it's literally kind of stop motion, more stop motion this time than live puppetry. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to do a new thing. I'm going to learn a new skill. And so I did really, really quickly, I did this tiny, tiny little, extremely quick shadow puppet just to show you, like you'd be filming and, you know, he's going to kick the ball. So you'd move, you keep moving really, really like little bits at a time. And then uh, you move it back, move it this way. He hits the ball and you keep moving the ball and you keep rolling the ball. And then you just like edit out all the bits where you, my hands come in and... Um, move the stuff and do the stuff and in that way you've got your animation uh Lottie Granger I'm gonna have to look up her name uh and I'll post the documentary in the comments below but uh she um was so quick at it and she did it all by taking pictures but I think I'm gonna do video and just edit out the bits um because oh I'll try I'll, I'll, either way I'll uh I'll do what I can. Then I thought, well, like I won't be able to get any colors, but um, I then I had this idea one day, uh, me and my ideas, oh my God, the cat thing. And I got some tissue paper. So I got some blue tissue paper. I don't know if you can see that. And um, I, got a, I got loads of tissue paper. I got it for a different project, which I haven't done yet. Um, yeah, so you can actually make colours in the background if you want to. I can make a scene and um, then she uh, used to put acetate over everything and then move the pu the puppets on the scene that she did. So if I want to, I can have blue skies, I can have uh, green grass, I can, um, I can do all that stuff. And you can dim it if you want to um, or just turn it off like yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I know it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, uh, it's not connected to the internet, but it's still like really, um, it's still pretty cool, I think. Yeah, so that's my next project. And I'm going to do a video for Last Life and I, uh, because... Last Life is just an epic song and uh, a lot of people are interested in it. Don't even talk to me about like trying to get my stuff out there. Although there's a few Irish DJs interested in playing a few songs. Uh, but like since I've 
I haven't pr promoted anything in a while and it's all fucking pay, uh, pay me and I'll review you. And it's not even guaranteed a good review, you know, pay me and I'll put you on my Spotify playlist, pay me, pay me, this and that. So I am not going to uh, pay loads of idiots uh, for their stupid opinion. <laughs> Simple as. Um, but I'm going to do my best and I'm sending it out to DJs and stuff. Uh, Michael Carr has got back to me straight away. He's such a legend. Uh, John Barker said that he's listening to it. So, you know, you never know. Um, I'm doing the best I can, but I'm just not paying some stupid idiot for his opinion. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Right. From me and the Kitan, um, I'm going to sign off. And yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do. And I will document it in some way. Probably not daily, but I will document it so that it, it keeps me, um, you know, uh, gives me a reason to get up and get dressed and to, to be a person. <laughs> um, thanks a million. Thank you so much. See you soon.